All right, all right. All praises to the Most High. Obed Israel, elders for Israel. Uh, we want to make some points off this video here. Uh, it's very important because what I am doing, I am critiquing the body of Christ, right? We're just going around, sewing up some breaches, explaining some things as the Israelites on the streets talk to the people. We have the right to do that. The elders of the church have the right to do that, okay? This is a disclaimer, a fair use Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances is made for fair use for the purpose such as criticism, comments, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing. Okay nonprofit organization and we're just here make a couple of points I'm not trying to steal anybody's video we're making some points where the Israelites can make headway because what are we doing here at the elders of Israel right now we're focusing on gathering the people up and bringing the people back in fellowship with one another see because we were scattered we were taken and split up by all the nations. They divided and scattered us. And they taught our children that they were nobody but slaves. So what is the responsibility of the awakened Israelites is to gather the people back up, help them to understand where they fell from, what their obligations as a the contract they have with the Most High as the chosen people. You can't get out of that. You can't get out of that. A lot of people trying to get out of that using Christianity and the love and we all got the responsibility to love God. No, there's only one people that has the responsibility to do everything God told them to do. Walk around here, act like little gods on the earth and teach the rest of the people how to get along with everybody on the earth so we can have peace and harmony and love this earth. But no, the, the devils took it and made it a place to hate and to fear and people fighting and killing each other. That's how the devil, why can't you see that? Anybody that's going around killing and fighting, kill, steal, and destroy, they, they are the devil. The devil, come to, the, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. There's only one group of people that have done that. And they have taken over the whole earth. And so this point that I'm really bringing out here, that I'm really going to hammer in to show you that all the people in all the nations are either Edomites or either uh, Hamites. They're either Edomites or Hamites on the earth today. But the Afro nations like Edomites are in charge of the earth today, right? So in all the governments, they are ran by Edomites. I know, they, you know, they say, okay, China, uh, uh, Japanese, Ammon, uh, you got Moab, right? Let me get this. You got Moab. All people coming together. They've been trying to... Okay, you got Moab. So what the nations have done is tried to bring all, these are some of the tricks. First of all, they brought all the people together as one. They tried that. And most of us said, no, we, 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 that's not going to work. Then they said, well, there's no more Israelites. They sinned against God and he killed them all. Okay. Then they said, okay, salvation's for everybody now. All you have to do is believe. You can be a murderer. You can be whatever. You can be a... a you, you can be and kill God's people. You can be in charge of killing and, and destroying and down here wreaking havoc on us right now like this woman is doing. And she might even be an Israelite, but I'm saying she's an Edomite, right? So why am I saying all these people in the nation of Edomite? Because Esau planted his seed. Christ told us that. Yahweh Shai told us that Esau would plant his seed on the earth and they will be raised up to rule over the 
indigenous people of the earth. Ammon and Moab, that's Chinese and Japanese. That's Esau ruling over Ammon and Moab. Chinese and Japanese or Esau. You got the Ishmael over there. Now, Ishmael might be, uh, Ishmael is still kind of reigning, but he got Afro, he got his Afro people in, on, on the, under his foot too. That's Esau posing as Ishmael. Then you got Esau in Russia. And you got Ukraine. They, all, they, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't have to. They got their land. They taking over their land. They made a treaty with, uh, Ammon, I mean Amalek, Japheth had a, a, a grandson, Amalek, Esau had a grandson, Amalek. When they met in their time, they united the Edomites and Japheth together, okay? Then you've got Hamites, they're down there, we know who they are. But you've got so-called Ethiopians ruling in their land, they are Edomites. These are Esau's bastard children ruling all over the earth. In Mexico, you got Edomites ruling there. North America, you got Edomites ruling there. Here in here in North America, you got uh, white people posing, Edomites posing as North Americans. You got Edomite posing as Gad. You got Edomite posing as Issachar. But they and what they have done, they have took their the true indigenous people of the land and pressed them down and rule and, and built up a government, diplomats, uh, uh, the diplomats, the people who run the government for the people of the land. They supposed to be, but they are belligerent trustees. They're not running it for the people, original people of the land. They're taking over the people of the land. Okay. So this is what the Israelites are participating in. These camps are participating in the takeover of the original people of every land by putting these mulatto Edomites as the original people. When you say Issachar, look, Issachar, those people don't claim to be Negro. The ones you see standing up, coming up here and, and opposing us, they don't claim to be Negro. They don't claim to be the uh, indigenous people of the Israelite Negro group. No, they saying they white, they saying they're Spaniards. But you keep Israelite camps keep trying to explain these people as uh, the original people of the tribes of Israel. We got one point. We're going to make this quick point, bring it out to where this brother, show you where this brother goes wrong at, okay? i just explain to you how he's going wrong. We've been doing that since the beginning. God wants all the nations divided, right? Uh-huh. Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. They will, they will. She has no idea what she's talking about. Let's go. But, but we're going to make them bow down. You understand me? This, this is proper order. You understand me? The children of Israel have to be let loose, and we're going to make the nations bow down to Christ. They're not going to bow down to this. To this like when you're fluent on Christianity like that, then you're probably... And you're fluent and won't hear the words, so won't hear the Bible and the truth, won't try to hear it. You keep going with the doctrine of man, you're probably not, uh, uh, you probably not God's, you're probably not Christ, you're probably not belonging to Christ, you're probably not an Israelite. Your, your spirit is not bearing witness with the truth. No, we will. He will empower us to do that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Listen, sister, you listening? Listen, listen. Sister, are you listening? Come on. When he separated the son. See what she's doing? She's there. Proverbs 18 and 2. A fool has no delight in understanding, but that their heart may discover herself. She like hearing herself talk. And she wants everybody to think she knows what she's talking about. Of Adam. God separated the sons of Adam in the beginning. Read that again from the time. When the Most High divided to the nations, there, and I said he wants the Chinese in China. He wants the Japanese way over here in Japan. He wants that. See, see what he did? He didn't say, God didn't say, he, he didn't divide the Chinese. He divided Moab. He divided Moab. He divided the original people. 
we come back and call, we're calling the original people the Edomites. We call the Edomites the original people. We're referring to the Edomites as the original people. Africans in the continent of Africa. God made that happen. God put everybody where he wants them to be. You understand me? But through wars and through time, through conquering, that's why you have Edomites in the land of Mexico. Con okay. Now he's got it right, right here. Through the wars and conquering and the taking over of the land, the uh, colonizing, that's why the people are in the land. He got it right here, but he's going to lose it again. Watch. You have Edomites that stole us from Africa and brought us over here, and now we're in America. Now he's saying all the black people in America are Judah. We're the ones coming from Africa. They, that's the only way we got over here. But everybody knows that during the Renaissance, when uh, uh, Fernandez and Isabella, uh, they ran all the, the Jews out. They ran all the Jews. And there were Israelite Northern Kingdom over there, too. They ran them out. They said, if you're not trying to be a Christian, you got to get out of here. They snatched their kids out of their hand, took their kids and said, y'all going to burn at this stake unless y'all get out of here. They ran them out with their clothes on their back. So Moors, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom came over here the same way that the white slaves were being sent over here by the Edomites through the Barbary Empire. The Moors had government set up over here. They already had government set up over here. They already had government set up over here. It was 500 nations of Northern Kingdom people here in this land. It was over 300 million people here when they got here. Why would they need to bring random Israel, random Africans from Africa? They didn't need the Africans over there. They were gathering up Israelites. They weren't gathering up Africans, Hamites. They were gathering up Israelites. If they brought anybody over here, the Hamites gathered them up, and they were Israelites, and they sent them over here. They sent them on ships. They didn't know where they was going, okay? So the Hamites, uh, let's go back to it. You had Edomites that conquered Africa and taken that land. You got Edomites that tried to take China. You understand me? The Chinese kicked them out of their land. See, that's where, you see how it went off again? He said Edomites tried to take China. The Edomites invaded and infested China, infested uh, Moab with white people. That's how China came about. That's not the original Moab. China is the Edomites. Japanese are Edomites. North uh, Korea, Edomites. Edomites are in government all over the earth. So all these lands, God went back and called them by the name of the land. That's what we should do. But notice that all the people and the names now and their pale skin are running all of the countries of the aboriginal people of the earth. The aboriginal people of the earth. Edomites are the youngest people on the earth. They're the youngest people group. And, and that's why they, these uh, mulattoes can't explain where they came from because they, will, they, they ran from their Negro heritage to the whites. The whites won't accept them because they got their brown in their skin. So they come to us trying to say we're better than y'all because we're, 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 we're mixed. We really got white in us. Uh, yeah, so, you know, that's what they're doing. They're trying to find a place in middle class above us, and they want to convince us uh, that of their existence and, and their worth and their status because if they don't convince us, we're going to always keep them pushed where they're supposed to be. You, you are niggas just like us. Issachar is an Israelite nigga. Okay? So... Every time they come up and try to push this Christian doctrine, it's to promote white supremacy and their white skin over us. Let's keep listening. You understand me? You have that the whole world is being mixed up. That's not how it's supposed to be. You understand me? Now, hold on. I'm going to show you what Jesus is going to do. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. 
I'm going to show you because Jesus is not going to do all the work. He's going to empower his sons. I, I, I got to wait. Wait. Once, I, once I'm done with this, I'm going to let you come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. All the prophecies, all the history, everything in this Bible, we have hold fast till Christ comes back. All right. I'll praise you to the most high. So we see where people were the mulattoes. Now, we, we need to see what's happening right here. Now, I, I got uh, documentaries on there, talked about the wheat and the tear. Jesus warned us of this. The wheat will be uh, smothered out by the tear. What happened? The tear came up and posed as the wheat. Okay. What is happening now? All these mulatto groups took us in captivity or either now trying to exalt themselves over us. They are the tear. Do we have any meat, wheat mixed in with that? I'm sure we do. From, but from this Issachar family and this uh, so-called uh, American Indian family, they have developed the tear. They are, there's Esau, planting his seed in the dark race and those offspring raised up to say, hey, we won't have anything to do with our dark ancestors. We'll just marry each other, light-skinned and white, light-skinned white. And that way we'll make a better race of people so we can get along in this world with this devil that's in charge of it. We'll become like him. And we see our black women and black men doing it too, trying to become Edomites, coloring their hair tips, two-faced it. They got blonde and black hair. So we see what's happening. Jesus said that these mulatto groups, especially the pale face, because they, they mirror the, the devils that rule the earth, they mirror them. So especially them, they will come up. What does a, what does a weed do? It chokes out the 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 uh the organic vegetable the organic fruit that is planted in the ground it chokes it out and steals the nutrients from it and that's what these people are doing and the Edomites that rule the land Joe Biden them they're bringing them in bringing these weeds in to choke out and steal our resources from us uh, and that's how I know who they are that's how you would know who they are it didn't say we wouldn't know the terror. We know who they are, but we can't pluck them up. But what the Most High is doing is gathering them together. Because what they're doing, they're coming over here to America where the nukes are going to blow their ass up. All of them groups, Ukraine, Afghanistan, these Mexicans, these so-called Indians, East Indians, all of them Hamites, they're coming over here trying to steal our jobs and steal our resources, ham trying to steal the jobs in the prison. All these groups are coming over, these mulatto groups, choking out our livelihood. And God is gathering up here. He's going to pull us up out of here and burn their ass up in here with our wicked people with them. That's the bottom line. So we're going to leave it like that. I hope we got it. We still running. We still running. Reap. And he that overcometh, he that overcometh his own sins and the sins of this new, of this earth right now, this society, you understand me? And Christianity is included in that because what you're preaching is the same thing we heard for 400 years. What you're preaching is what, that's what the conquistador. Go watch this video. Those brothers are getting down. Uh, I'm not mad at them. They're going to learn it. This knowledge is coming out. That's why God got me here watching everything to help you out. You might not like it. You won't give me no thumbs up. You, and the truth, how, how many of you Israelites here in this video knowing it's the truth, or either you don't know the truth, maybe you don't know the word of God, you may, can't hear it, maybe you're too prideful, you won't give me a thumbs up, you, you you know, I ain't asking for no money, I'm already blessed, got plenty of money, I'm already blessed, I'm trying to bless the rest of the people and help these people gather up, okay, so you won't give me a thumbs up, and you won't forward the video, sitting there pouting, and you're taking what I'm giving you and using it. So that's all I'm really concerned about. Take this truth and use it. Okay? Give me a thumbs up so we can spread this truth, man. Or y'all start teaching it, but you still can give me a thumbs up. I got thumbs up on all of y'all. I subscribe to all of y'all. But that show you, you ain't going to be blessed when you try 
to uh, put your feet on your own brother's neck. All right? This message is for everybody, man. It's especially them that know the law. Y'all going to know the truth faster. The people that don't know the law, they sitting around wondering, waiting to hear what y'all going to say about this. But it's other camps. It's other camps. It's other camps. It's other camps that's taking this truth and running with it. And the ones that don't take it going to be left behind. So I ain't worried about it. Okay, all praises to the most high. Came and they took your land. They took your land and gave you they gave you that understanding that you have. You understand me? What you're saying?